Hi there, Year 7. It's Mrs Emery here. As you know, I love to encourage your reading, but I'm also here to help you with supporting your research skills. In other words, when you have to find and use information that you read, I'm just going to go over a few top tips in five minutes, mainly to help you with your geography task that you've been set. So if you've chosen the Investigate into Coltan research task, then this is specifically going to help you. So my first top tip, I would imagine you're going to go straight to this, aren't you? You're going to go straight to Google and you will possibly just put in Coltan. So it will be thousands, if not millions of results put together based on that one keyword. The reason that that very first one is first out of all those millions is that it's the most popular. It does not necessarily mean that Wikipedia is the most useful. I am not saying you can't use Wikipedia, but in terms of this task, it is very, very long and quite complex. And there's a lot of information that you probably don't need. So my first top tip, would I suggest that you go to some sites that you already know? So we know that BBC Bright Size is aimed at students of your age group. It has information on geography. And if we put BBC Bright as Coltan, you have got a result there. Don't be put off the fact that it is GCSE. Um, you could have a look and see what you can access. Don't always just go to the first one. The second one here is News Round. That might have some information because we know the BBC are reliable. But let's go to this bite size one first. Now, if we're looking for um, that specific information about Coltan, you have got to skim and scan and go all the way down to look for it. Top tip here, if you do control and F on your keyboard, can you see that you get this box up and you put in Coltan and it will come up with all of the instances where Coltan appears. And we can see that we've got a map of where it's occurring. Um, it says it's a material essential for making mobile phone batteries. We sort of knew that anyway, but it is a starting point. OK. So if we go back to Google. I would secondly say your top tip would be very careful about what you put in here. A lot of people want to put in an entire question. So what is Coltan used for? All that Google is going to do is pick out the keyword of Coltan. Again, you've got Wikipedia. So pretty much the same as what you had before. I would suggest if you put uses of Coltan, you might even want to include some way of telling the system that you are a student so you don't want really complicated information so you could put for kids i don't need to think that that's patronizing it's just a way of uh, telling google um, where you're at this encyclopedia is aimed at students and if we click on it and see the article about coltan it is actually very readable short enough um, and we've got things about why it's so controversial um, it helps um, finance armies in the Congo. So we're already starting to get a bit more information that is useful. Top tip number three, I would see, say be aware of going straight to video. I know a lot of students think that it is much easier to watch a video or look at some images than read the information. They can be useful, but you have to be very aware of who wrote the information. When you are researching, consider who has put this on the Internet. Why have they put it on the Internet? It might not be that they want to help you with your schoolwork. They might want to convince you of their opinion. They might want to sell you something. So be very careful when you're looking at videos and images. I would suggest that reading should be your first port of call. So research top tip number four. When you do find some useful information, do not just copy and paste the whole thing. Put it into your work and think that that is enough. Firstly, that is called plagiarism. It could mean that you fail an assignment. It's basically like copying your work from your friends, but you don't necessarily understand and learn about the topic when you do that. You are going to need to pick out the key points that your teacher has asked you to find out about, and you will understand it much more if you uh, actually read the information and put it in your own words. My final top tip, number five, would be don't just rely on one source of information. In other words, not just one website, try and find two or three different resources by different authors to show that you have read around the topic. If you want to be an excellent researcher, you could even tell your teacher at the end of your work which websites or which books or which articles you used. That is called reference.